Welcome to Jazz Talk. My name is Steve Williams, and to my left is a frequent guest on the show. Uh, not for a few years, but in the past, uh, she has been on several times. Uh, Jenny Shea of Mixed Media. Welcome back. Thank you. It's We're a pleasure kind to be of, back. Uh, chatting on how far back we go, and I always have that conversation with people because this is my 17th year on the air, and uh, Jenny was childless back then. <laughs> yes, um, uh, and now my kids are 14 and 11, and it's been a long road, but I'm knocking wood. I'm still that's right. still doing it. Still I'm promoting still doing promotion. The music. Yep. Um, and I, I never used to have to wear these, but I have to cheat with these now. Um, I wanted to cover a couple of things. I sure. again, I appreciate your having me. Um, primarily tonight, I just wanted to. It was great to to get a call from you, and when you asked, you know, me to come on, I thought of, of primarily the projects that would be coming from Wailing City Sound because they are my main jazz client. Right. Um, and they have 61 releases now. They're out of New Bedford. Mm -hmm. uh, Neil Weiss runs the label and um, they started in 1999. So 13 years later, you know, they've pretty, pretty much put out, you figure, about four or five releases a year. Right. Um, and they don't just do jazz, as you know, right, but it's a very eclectic um, music mix. Um, and actually tonight uh, they're kicking off um, uh, one of a couple of the artists from the label will be participating in the Dartmouth Performance um, Jam Session um, series. Jim Robitaille um, sent me the information. The first concert's actually tonight. Um, at 8 o'clock Wednesday, but it's a Wednesday series, um, and it's featuring um, Matt Richard and Jim Robitaille duo. Um, the concerts are held on Wednesdays at 8 at the University of Mass Dartmouth, and um, this season is, is actually dedicated to um, uh, Rick Brito. Um, he passed away in August of this year, and he was an amazing you know, tenor and soprano sax player and what they decided to do was feature Rick's compositions in the series and um, we hope you know your audience would consider that on Wednesday nights um, it's free admission yeah. and it's open to the public and any more information you probably get that on Jim um, dot com um, the series and will also a, include um, John Harrison trio oh, yes. on the 31st, and Dino Gavoni, another one of ours, on uh, November 28th. So I thought I'd tell you about that. Yeah. Um, and today, <laughs> I've, uh, tis the season, I'm That's promoting right. Christmas. <laughs> All right. That's right. Wheeling City Christmas. Um, we kind of did a a small targeted last minute promotion to, to just radio on this particular release. It's um, it, We actually had so many styles of music that the radio promoter and the label came up with this cool genre matrix to tell you which track was best for what type specialty show. And uh, we're going to be doing um, uh, you know promotion to the press for this and in fact we we've been doing a lot of um, calls to general interest magazines because they have the longer leads yeah. and that window is just kind of closing now for gift guides That's right. so sometimes they like you know different offbeat gift suggestions and this is definitely um, a cool stocking stuffer it's oh, yeah. it's very That's unique right. and it's mm -hmm. a um, it's actually a benefit Neil Weiss um, is always one to share <laughs> and um, give, and this benefits the New Bedford Education Foundation. So um, it's a little bit of everything, folk, rock, jazz, bluegrass, and um, some of the artists are Charlie um, Cover, Neil McCarthy, uh, Pumpkinhead Ted, um, they have a humorous take <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's really, it's really, it's different, and we're looking forward to 
trying to get that reviewed and you know for for the holiday reviews sections of the papers sure. around Thanksgiving mm -hmm. weekend they usually do those so a um, couple of other projects that we we've been working on um, the past few months in fact we just finished Grammy submissions for uh, the last three titles which Paul Siena um, harpsichord release and the two jazz Frank Derone Yep. And Sean Montero. He played now the Frank Derome double exposure. Yes. And uh, Sean's her tribute to Carmen Cray. Yep. Those were um, great projects. Uh, obviously, two um, vocalists, but different. different. And, you know, they had their similarities as well. Um, obviously, uh, I don't know if your audience knows, but Frank Derome, um, he's an American jazz singer and he grew up in Providence. And he began singing at five years old, and um, he had his own radio show at, at 11. Wow. <laughs> and his CD, as you said, is um, Double Exposure. And uh, it has five of um, so, um, solos with Frank on guitar. And, um, and then there's like six kind of um, big band tunes. Um, and it was produced um, well, arranged and conducted by Phil Kelly, right. and now Frank lives in Chicago. Hmm. Um, and his first recording came out on Mercury Records in the 60s. Wow. wow. And he has a, a lot of fans, <laughs> including um, uh, Nat King Cole, thought he was fantastic. Um, he's got quotes on his website from Tony Bennett, um, he's a pretty good singer. Yeah, he's not so bad <laughs> right. himself. Right. Um, so he has a, a nice history with some of these folks, and um, right. he's still doing it. Uh, Frank Sinatra um, would request him to perform with him when he was in Vegas, and um, he's just a, a really, and he still sounds so good. He does. He, does. Um, he, does. he just celebrated his 80th birthday, mm. and they had the... Um, the Chicago Jazz Festival earlier this month, right. and they honored him. Um, the Chicago Mayor um, Rahm Emanuel he gave him a proclamation and said that, you know, thanks for all you do for making Chicago one of the <laughs> best places in the world for jazz. Yeah. So yeah. that was something. And of course, the Chicago Tribune and Howard Reich always, you know, been a fan, raves about him, and he's had a good, a good year. Oh yeah, I would say yeah. So. And Sean, um, Sean is uh, all over the world as well, and she actually lives close by to me. <laughs> this is an artist and a group that I can speak to quite well about. Sean being a great singer for many decades. Yes. And of course, she's backed up by Mike Renzi, the seven-time Grammy Award winner. Yep. Sesame Street, who was a guest on this show right. a few years ago. Dave Zeno on bass. Yep. Steve Langone on drums. You got fantastic it. Fantastic band. Yep. And if anybody gets a chance to see her, they should definitely do that. Yeah. She's uh, she's very passionate about her love of Carmen McRae. Oh, absolutely. And it comes across on the record. And there's um really there's a, a connection too. Um, she was um, her father, bassist Jimmy Wood. That's right. Played for Carmen, mm. and her godfather, trumpeter. Um, Clark Terry right. um, also played right. for Carmen. So and, and we could also plug uh, one of Wayland City's previous CDs. releases. Exactly. They were at uh, Scholars, Scholars a few years ago, like 2004 or five in that right. area. Right. Yep. And in yeah. fact, um, that's an interesting segue also because two cuts from that. Clark Terry um, record, which was called One Special Night, and it was at, That's like right. you said, Scholars, um, is on this um, this new CD um, called Wailing City um, Sound Waves. Okay. And it's this um, blue title right there. Oh, yeah, the it's whale. brand new. It's yeah. a compilation. Right. And um, like I said, she has a, a song on there. Um, it's a uh, benefit for the uh, Schwartz Center, Center for, for Children, children. Yeah, that's great. and um, they serve children with special needs. And it includes Sarah Brooks, 
and Graceful Soul. Oh, yeah. um, Paul, Angel Back CD. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, it, Paul Sienawa, the harpsichord player. Um, bluesman uh, Mark T. Small. Um, Grand Army. They're kind of alternative and, right. and cool. Um, and of course, Sean and Joe Beck and John Abercrombie and right. Jerry Gibbs. So it's, it's a nice selection of Good. what they've put out over the years yeah. and a, a nice eclectic mix. Hmm. Yep. So and the, sh the show does have a little connection with some of these artists. I had Joe on in 2002. Yep. 2002. So he did a number of CDs for Neil and they were really fantastic. Yeah. Yep. Greatly missed. Uh, I know. Really very, missed. very sad. Right. So, um, so those are the projects that we've been working on. And actually there's news um, from the distribution end. Uh, we've been distributed. I was able to hook Whaling City up with um, Allegro distribution several years ago. Right. Um, and they actually were very interested in the label due to Joe Beck, of course. Okay. Yep. Um, and as you know, the industry has had some rough yeah, times. Rough sailing. And um, we are now <laughs> distributed by um, Noxos USA. Right. And they are, they've actually been ar around as long as I have been doing this in like 87, we yes. both started. Classical um, stuff they tend to And play. that's their primary right. Um, specialty right. is classical mm -hmm. so we were shocked and delighted mm -hmm. <laughs> that yeah. they would consider us um, for uh, and distribution the history they have put out jazz releases periodically yeah but it's primarily a classical distributor right which appealed to us because right. we would stand out hopefully and um, their digital market. I mean, they're the number one independent classical music um, physical distributor in the United States and Canada. And as far as digital distribution, it's um, the world's largest digital distributor. So this is good news. It is. And we haven't officially um, sent out a press release on that. You've got some sneak peek <laughs> information on this, but um, we're uh, going to obviously be promoting that as things are finalized, the contracts are signed, and we're going to move forward. It's going to be interesting for me, too, because I'm kind of the media distributor relations point person for Neil and the label. Right. So this will be a whole new um, you know, way of doing things. It's mm -hmm. going to be a new system, and obviously, as you know, the technology is ever changing right. and it's constantly keeping up. So it'll be, you know, I'll have my work cut out for me, I think, just to bring, bring the new distributor up to speed and kind of roll out the new right. releases and start with the next chapter. Right. A little different from when you started out, when it was just a fax machine <laughs> and overnighting packages, right? Back it's in those amazing. days. It, it's amazing. Oh. Yeah, and I can't keep saying it because I do sound so old, but you know, when I, you know, talk about things to some of my, I work with some college students and they do internships for me. And, they, I mention people and they have no idea who I'm talking to. I, the references are just like, right, right. and um, they get a kick out of some of the stories, you know, about things that and happened. you were doing <laughs> something, prior to your own company, you did something for North Star for them as well. Yes, I was. They're overseas. Yeah, stuff. actually I was doing the same thing for them. Right. Um, for the traditional um, distribution. Uh, as you know, they had uh, been one of the trailblazers in the gift market. Yeah, right. Having music in a yeah. gift shop, believe yeah. it or not, was not all yeah, that common right. in right. the 80s, and the, right. we were actually selling cassettes. Yeah. Um, but I was kind of handling the, the more mainstream, going to um, Naird and the conferences um, to, to try to get the distribution going back then in the right. physical and now, of course, it is digital, and that's a whole nother 
area, but um, we're looking forward to a new relationship with yeah. them. And they're actually um, um, in Tennessee. So, and go ahead. And the nice <laughs> thing about this is that uh, because of the advance in technology, it's no longer just a phone call or an email. You can actually Skype people. Oh these yeah. Days. In fact, so I, that's, yeah, I've that's, done that with clients. Yeah. Um, even interviews, you know, students are abroad.